watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Well today I've got an older Rough Rider to review. And this is the one, one I picked up on eBay that was like $16 I want to say for shipping. And it was listed as used but it's really not. It's not ever been sharpened or the blade has never been used. Just no packaging to go with it. But this is model number RR317. It's the Red Jig Bone Sow Belly Lockback from Rough Rider. Came out about 2005 or thereabout. And that was before I had began collecting. So had no opportunity to buy this new. But had I, it would have been about $14 when it first came out. It's, uh, it's about 4 and an eighth inch closed. And again, this is the red jig bone. So we have a wonderful jig bone pattern on here with this nickel silver shield. Shield has a horseshoe on it and it says tested sharp on the horseshoe itself and then two R's below one another stacked on top of one another there. So it makes for a really nice shield. Got brass pins and nickel silver bolsters with a single thread. Nice smooth transitions all along the handle is very smooth even on so inside the ridge there where the release mechanism is feels very good all around the edges and we've got really good color matching on the other side smooth all across here maybe just do fill this pin just slightly I think that's due to the nature of the jigging and so forth got sort of the uh, valleys and peaks there Makes it a little tougher to get those nice and smooth. But it is a beautiful knife. Um, one that I really enjoy the, the pattern shape of. Very comfortable in the hand. This being 4 and an eighth inch, this is a little larger than the standard sow belly. Which is 3 and 7, uh, oh, sorry, 3 and 3 quarters. But this will fit a large Rough Rider slip pretty well. Pretty happy with the fit of that. Medium, it's just a little tight. Uh, kind of sticks out the top. So I haven't been uh, using the medium for it. It's just kind of right at the edge of the size it'll accommodate. So the larger one seems to be the better choice. And that's the one I would go with. But we have a 440A stainless steel blade on this. Of course, this is China made. And we've got brass liners on the bottom. Now that all looks really well done. I do give a little bit of... Uh, of a, you know, I'd allow for a little bit of gapping on the bottom when you have a locking mechanism there. I think that's pretty normal. Um, the bottom mechanism is all pretty smooth, except for this just very end here, where it's recessed just slightly. But in the open position, it does smooth itself out. But you have really nice bone handle there. They rest well against the liners. There's no gapping there or any kind of deformities. Again, that color matching is really well done. Like the brass pins and the brass liners on this. So let's take a look at the blade itself. We've got 440A stainless steel, mirror polished blade. A little bit of a hollow grind there. There's a look at the blade edge. It's really consistently done. Seems like the edges on the older knives, the older Rough Rider knives, are done just a little better. You got a uh, like I said, a mirror finish blade, and then you've got the etch on there with that horseshoe, like on the shield, and it says always, always ready. So it, I guess it's always ready. Then you got the match strike pull there. This is before they really began using the swedging. That was a light rollover there at the clip part, but uh, not like they do today with the swedges they use. So kind of nice pre swedge design. There's a look at the other side. Blade edge looks a little heavier on this side, but uh, still pretty consistent. Not too terribly off. On this particular side, we've got the 440 razor sharp steel etched into the tang, and then on the blade itself, the country of origin, China. On this side, we have the nice horseshoe tang stamp, which I actually have to admit I quite miss. Wish they would still use that. Just a neat design. But they moved on from it, and so now it just has mainly a back to back R's or Rough Rider logo stamped on it, not the horseshoe, horseshoe anymore. 
So I guess you've got the horseshoe in three places, the tang, the blade edge, and then the shield. But nice looking clip point blade. Let's take a measure of that guy. So total length, I would say is three inches all the way up to the tang, all the way up the tang. Now you got a cutting edge of about two and five eighths, a little bit of a choil there, but uh, yeah, the cutting portion is two and five eighths. And you got a nice tip on this guy. Again, the 440A stainless steel, easy enough to sharpen, will last you all day. No issues. You know, give it a strop each evening after work or after, you know, some period of use. And uh, it'll come right back, no problem. Can feel very, very edgy, very sharp. Action on the blade is very smooth, very easy to pull out. And just buttery smooth, locks up really well, no blade rock, no side to side. That all feels really good and it's easy enough to release, doesn't require you know a ton of effort to get that closed and then it has a nice little spring back action there at the end. So I'm just really happy with this particular fit and finish on this knife. I really feel like uh, for the $16, even though it was maybe about $2 more than it was new, it was a good deal. I'd never seen this particular model before available. I knew about it, but I could never seem to find one and track this one down. So blade centering is very, very good. Even for a, a lock back, I don't really expect too much from lock backs, but this one has really good blade centering just the way it is. So yeah, really, really pleased with the fit and finish on this. I feel like the quality of this knife uh, certainly belies its price. It's a uh, looks more like a 40 to 50 dollar knife to me um, but what do i know this rough rider is uh you know got the economy steel on it but otherwise everything else seems to be super well done very very happy with it and very glad that i could find it and add to the sound belly collection so yeah as far as lockbacks go this is definitely uh one that i really enjoy one of the main reasons there again is like the comfort of the knife. You can see the four finger grip there. And I don't have that anything, you know, it's not like a stockman where you've got other blades you have to grip through. This just pure handle and uh, makes for a very comfortable knife. So that's going to do it for my review of this wonderful little Reg Jig Bone Surprise Fine, the RR317. Again, long since discontinued but it came out around 2005. If you can find something in a sow belly lockback from Rough Rider, I would definitely check it out. I know that they have other series of these available. They don't make them a lot, but I would say I have about three or four of them already. And uh, I think it's probably the fourth or fifth one that I picked up. But really enjoy the knife. But that's going to do it for my review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell to be made aware of videos when they drop. We will see you next time. Take care.